All right, like one. It's Malian Drum recording time again. This is the double intro for those watching on YouTube. We're live on stream over here. Say hi, everyone, in the chat. You'll pop up on stream and you can have your your usernames immortalized in a YouTube video. <laughs> um, I'm doing the Lockdown Lunatics Textures track right now. Um, I'm working on the drums and I'm dying. <laughs> it's really fucking hard. So. The main thing- oh my god, I'm on YouTube! Hi mum! Sorry, the chat's really low, isn't it? I've, I need to fix that. So yeah, I need to learn this first riff. Because Bart was just like, what am I playing? I was like, I don't know, press record, and he just jammed something, and that's the riff. Like, and I was, at first I was like, hmm, maybe we need to rewrite that. And then as we committed to it, it started it's sounding really, really good. So we just stuck with it. Was that dun dun dun? No, it's just dun dun. Dun 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 scat. That's just bow bow. <laughs> I'm committed to the Lord. We'll get this. Are they Juggins? They sound like Juggins. I'm so confused.
How's it going, Braflo? Okay, I think I'm good to make a start on tracking. I don't think I'm gonna go for full, full takes all the way through. I think I'm gonna go sectional. Much as that makes the final video really hard to do. It's like, the song deserves proper tracking. Okay. So, it's time to record. Let's give it a go. Everything looks good on here. So, we start recording. All right, it's, uh, it's Lockdown Lunatics, Textures, Section 1, Take 1. Hey, thanks for the follow, Gravebound Band. I am starting to record now, video and audio, for this song that I wrote with the guys from Textures, live on stream. Uh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good start. Let's go for another one. Uh, it's uh, textures section one, take two. Let's fucking go. <laughs> This is cool. Tuning's still good. Yo! Karen Benji, how you doing? Thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Um, 
I am, my name's Mike. I play drums for all monuments, and I am currently recording drums for a collaboration I made live on stream with Textures. So you are, you have caught me in the middle of a recording session. So let's just keep it going. Lockdown Lunatics Textures, section one, take three. That's the call out I make for my video. Uh, oh, hello. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, scratch this video. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Um, Schoolboy error. I forgot to plug in the camera in front of me, so it just died. <laughs> <laughs> of course it did. Of course it did. Let me go plug that in and I'll, I'll start again. Perfect timing for the raid, right? Absolutely perfect timing. Right, let me go sort that out because I kind of need that camera for this stream. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Let me sort that out. <laughs> how was your stream, Karen? How was it? Did it go well? What did you get up to? I'm probably gonna have to refocus myself now. <laughs> oh no, it held. That's cool. I'm glad it went well. Oh, you interviewed Scott from Holding Absence. That's wicked. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that went well. Very welcome, very big welcome to you. I hope you enjoy the recording. Speaking of. Textures, uh, section one. I believe this is still take three. Let's go. <laughs> got the intro I'm pretty sure like there isn't one section I've screwed up like every time yo okay that's sick that thumbnail looks so good Caroline is the queen of thumbnails check this out I don't know if you'll be able to see it but that's me and her and Angel Vivaldi for the Malian show podcast that we do on Wednesdays we interviewed Angel Vivaldi and uh, yeah she just made like the best thumbnail like she always does so kudos do check out the Malian show by the way it's our other twitch account um, we have a lot of fun on there we chat about a lot of live shit um, we have guests we let like we let our subscribers we give them like priority to ask questions on stream and to get involved just a lot of fun so it's something that's really nice for me and Kay to do together. Carolina uh, K. Malian is my wife, for those who don't know. So, um, yeah, play nice. Um, am I going to do another take of this intro? No, fuck that. Why would I do that? Like, I, I got it. I got it. It's fine. Am I going to regret saying that?
This is fine. This is fine. This doesn't need another take. This is this is going great. I'm I'm pretty certain I don't need to worry about it. Animal. 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 Right, let's track some more. Um Tuning's good enough for me. All right. Textures section two, take one. Yes, sir, I am recording to a click. But you're not hearing it. Do you want to hear it? I put it on before and people have been like, ah, I don't want to hear the click. Um, but I'm only getting a quarter and a... Uh, it's a really nice woodblock sound that I really like. So... Textures, section two, take two. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with using those takes. I do want to get uh, another take that incorporates the. So we'll just set a new marker there, and we're good. Let's check that. That's good. All right. Textures section three, take one. <laughs> That is the most cursed fucking transition ever. <laughs> yeah, Plastodon, it's, it's like my life's work. <laughs> um, I used to work to like metronomes like. So now I can kind of hear whatever like quarter note click and sort of in my head I can feel. Yeah, um, if you want, I'm gonna put my metronome on for this, because, Hadi, I think you missed uh, me setting up that metronome. I'm gonna let you hear the click and how that turns around. I had to program a custom metronome for this uh, that, like, switches feel in, like, 316 over a 4-4 thing. It's fucking... <laughs> Um, yeah, I always do some kind of custom metronome, but the, the actual tempo, it, uh, this time signature was, was still 4-4 four, four here, and I can't change it now, because it will screw everything up, so... But uh, Cubase lets you program custom clicks without changing the signature, and have multiple click sounds, so it's, uh, it's ruddy gorgeous. Take care, Dino Bueno. It's been so nice to hang, hang out with you. Cheers for checking in. Have yourself a great day. It's really cool to have you here. Thank you so much. Yeah, subdivisions, it's it's a big thing that needs its own practice, its own shedding. It's a it's a cool thing to get into. Uh it's a really important part of playing music like this. So Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that recording? I don't know. I pressed the button and it didn't go green. That scares me. Okay, but that says it's recording, so 
I just have to trust that. Um, okay, lockdown <coughs> textures section three, take two. Yeah. <laughs> That didn't go so badly. <laughs> thank you so much, Jake. I appreciate it. Orca Live, thank you for the follow, my friend. I hope, I hope you're having a swell day. Texture section three, take three. <laughs> way too long on that one and just did some shit. <laughs> Take care, Hattie. It's lovely to have you here as always. Have a nice grocery shop, my friend. All right, so I think I'm good up until... I kind of feel like I'm good for the chorus now. What's going on, Steve? So nice to see you again. Steve, uh, <coughs> I don't want to talk too soon about it, but uh, progress might be happening on the whole online lesson front. Uh, I'm going to see, see what happens, but yeah, those lessons might start being uh, public sooner than we both thought, which is sick. I'm, uh, I'm develop I've been developing online uh, teaching materials with the view to starting or becoming part of an online tuition website that specializes in uh, progressive metal drumming and yeah progress might be happening on that front so that's fucking sick because that's been a goal for like 15 months uh just preparing and Steve has been my my sole pupil so far and i've been running the material past him and checking it out and he's been really enjoying it um he's been an amazing student it's been so sick and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of online education uh, because it means that a lot of resources can be uh, interpreted and ingested at the student's own leisure time uh, in a very modern and good working way. So it makes me very happy. Also, Carolina, you're going to like the fact I'm losing my voice and I've uh, got Barry White on. She loves it when that happens. She hates it when I fuck my throat up or when I get sick, but... She loves the low voice, so what can you do? 
<laughs> She's both like, I love it, and also I feel bad for you. <laughs> it's so fucking hot in here, but I can't run the aircon because the overheads will just be like. It's cool. I'll be fine. I just I screamed along to fell silent quite a lot yesterday. <laughs> Fucking love this song, man. I can't believe we wrote such a banger together. Bart and Daniel were incredible to write with. If if you told me I got to collaborate with some with like one of my favorite bands like a year ago, I would have been like, eh. I can't believe this. all this shit actually is working out. It's so much fun. I love Lockdown Lunatics. I'm still working out a test session with Joshua Travis from Amur, Danza, Glass Cloud. We're going to write a song together. Quite a few friends I still want to do Lockdown Lunatics with. Um... Oh, sick! You got in contact with Lewis from Prestamico. Yeah, he's a fucking legend, man. We went to school together, me, him, and Luke from Prestamico. Uh, he's... Um... He's a really, really awesome guy and an incredible drummer as well. Absolutely incredible drummer. Um, we had a lot of fun playing together at, uh, at Brit School together, so. Right. Textures section four, take one. Good. All right, that went fairly well. I'm still not confident in the riff. It's fucking complex. I'm going to just jam for it. My God, that's hard. I wish I could just turn the vocals off, but I bounced everything together. <laughs> I'm gonna jam this for a bit. I'm really struggling with these accents. Oh, man. 
don't get it. How many sections? This is four. I'm going to keep calling this four, I think. Maybe I should call it five. Depends how many of these I did. At least two. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy, this is hard. Oh, I'd only done one from take from section four. So this will be section four, take two. Got you. That only matters for the video anyway, so. Okay. Hope you're enjoying this. Um, fuck. Didn't get a green light again. Yeah. Section four, take two. Couple of bars I heard uh, count it from the same place. <laughs> Oops, forgot to turn the loop off. <laughs> okay. Fuck, it's done the thing again with the green light not coming up. That's so annoying. That is really getting irritating that that's not reporting back correctly from the ASM. Okay. Uh, section four, take three, I think. Cool. Let's do that again. Section four, take four. <laughs> Okay, I got the bit that was fucking me. I got it. Cool, so we committed to hi-hats here. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, and we lost the snare shooting.
That's cool, that'll do. Okay, new left locator. So this will be section five. Okay. <laughs> Amazing, you got a fucking duck tattooed on your ankle. Yeah, um, check out on uh, my, on, I think it's not on my main YouTube, it's on my Mally and Drum streams YouTube, which is linked somewhere. Fuck, I actually don't know where. Oh, it's Arthur found it. Yeah, the super liminal playthrough. Okay, okay, shit. This section. And for any drummers in here, what's up, Pasta? Uh, for any um, drummers in here, I am doing right, left, right, left, right, left on these. On the feet. Really hard to do. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been working on the stream quite a lot. Fuck. Oh, here we go. Yeah, section five, take one. That could have gone worse. Section five, take. <sighs> Section five, take. Is that was that take two? Was that oh shit? Yeah, that. Oh, I don't even know. Section five, take. Whatever the last one wasn't. Sorry, I've lost track. Oh, my brain's fucking dead. Yeah, section five, take two. Forgive me. This is take two of that section. Okay. Am I recording? Green lights failed again. Yeah, like it. What a nightmare. I really need to find a way of like being sure about my uh, my record status because the light doesn't flash up from the network controller. Mm, section five, take two. Got it. Let's go. Um, just gonna go ahead and undo that and just do that again. My goodness gracious, this is hard. Section five, take three. It's such a hard part. I'm really struggling with the first, uh... Those Those are... I keep fucking it up. I think this crash keeps dropping lower on this stand. I, uh, I yeeted... I had a huge piece of rack here for one symbol. 
just made no fucking sense. So I, I put it on a stand so that I could move it out of the way when I need to get past, and it's helped a lot. It made me able to squish the setup up to the left a bit more. Whew. What take is this? Shit. I've lost count. Section five, take four. That's fine. I should probably, yeah, I closed lanes. Good, good, good. Dying. This is great. <laughs> I am dead. Okay, well, section five's done, so that's great. Why is it that these last two days of drum tracking have been like the hardest things I've ever done? I'm so sorry, yeah. I was thinking about the fact that I didn't answer your question while I was tracking. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pastor. Um, yeah, I, uh, I wrote the, the parts with some influence from Bart and Daniel, of course. And I've just got them in my head. I don't want to refer back to them because I want to move forward with them. So I know what I'm trying to hit and how I'm trying to hit it, the general vibe of it. But yeah, this is me tracking it right now. This is, this is the tracking session, the, the tracking and video session right now. Uh, every time I hit record on all three cameras, my new equipment sends it straight to an SSD drive recorded at source. I don't have to touch S SSD cards on any of the cameras. It's amazing. I could do that for eight cameras at once. At the moment, three. Probably got three working cameras. My my old GoPro is fucking dying. I think it might be something to do with the cable. Very long HDMI cables don't work well. And I don't want to move to SDI because then I have to get 120 pounds worth of conversion from HDMI to SDI for every camera that is needed, that needs SDI, so long and the ATEM this is an HDMI thing and the cameras always it's just it's just long um, they're fairly new I've recorded on them a couple of times I would say this is the last tracking I will do on the Tom heads but the snare heads this is like this UV2 it might be the best um, oh god that flashing again are they overheating? Is it a heat thing? Is it an ATEM thing? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we wrote this on a Lockdown Lunatic session. Everything about this song has been done on stream. Uh, the, the project was never opened off stream. Like, we did everything here and now. Like, in the now, if you know what I mean. Like, that's the whole idea behind Lockdown Lunatics, is it's like, it's a window into all of it. So Saturday afternoons, my plan has been for a while to have a regular, this is when that session is. I will move it depending on whether or not I'm working with an American or not. So like, that's why, make sure to check out the schedule on Twitch. I'm now much better at updating it. Um, and I'm also doing a, uh, a Twitch graphic, a schedule graphic, which goes up on my Discord every, uh, every week. Usually I pop it up on Wednesdays, or Thursdays latest. Because it takes me that long to work out what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> but in general, it's Friday and Saturdays. Afternoon and evening streams on both days for 
four streams total. Yeah, no, I think I've done like eight or nine episodes of it now. I've done three collaborations, one with Andy Sizzik, one with the Textures guys, and the other one was with Drusif, but we just made a meme. So it's not really like something that's going to go on a Lockdown Lunatics EP like I wanted it to. Um, but yeah, it's a it's it's an evolving project, you know, it, it's taking its form from what happens. Don't you dare. <laughs> Yo, Tobias, what's going on, dude? Thank you so much for the raid. It's been a while. Crow soapy feet. Welcome. Tanfiz. Hey, what's going on? Welcome, raiders. Um, I'm afraid I'm not doing requests at the moment. I am actually uh, recording drums uh, for the Textures collaboration that we wrote live on stream. So um, I've taken a bit of a break now, and I'm ready to go ahead and track the last chorus to that so you're, you're hearing good time uh snare tuning check thank you so much for the sub dude holy crap 149 we're about to hit the 150 goal we're like one away <laughs> you had to put your guitar down fucking brown yeah riff hard's riff hard's fucking hard dude that's the idea hmm okay section six uh, textures uh, take one. Let's go. I'll remember your words. Tomorrow I'll be so I fucked it, and I and I burst a blister that I made yesterday, so that's cool. <laughs> My stick got all wet, and I was like, "Mm-hmm, blister gone. Let's do that again." Thank you so much for gifting that sub. That's 150. That's the first fucking time we've hit that. Oh yeah! Thank you so much, Arthur and Tobias for getting us over there. 150. We did it. We did it. 150. I can't believe it. That's a new record. That's a new fucking record in a month. Thank you so much. I am so fucking grateful. <sighs> oh shit, we're close to a hype train. I don't wanna I don't wanna ask for it again. We hit three level five hype trains yesterday, and that meant three hours of community takeover. So, you know. <laughs> I love that. I love that, but you've already given so much. <laughs> and I'm trying to <laughs> Oh Hell yeah! Thank you so much, Stata, for the five. I don't know, it said one more person needs to gift or, or cheer, and that didn't happen, so. <laughs> yeah, but, um, oh, one more person. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. I don't know if I could deal with another level five. <laughs> but we could do community takeover. Oh, shit. Tobias, you legend. Thank you so much. Oh no! Yeah, it's because of the. It's because it's another person needs to do it. It can't be the same person. I didn't know that was a rule. I thought it was just a total amount of things. But thank you so much. Now we're at hundred and one percent. That's mad. You guys are mad. I love you all. Zach. Yo. Okay. Fuck it. So I guess if we hit 100% on level 5 again, it's an hour and it's all yours. Oh, yo, holy crap, Zaz, twice? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Well, I can't think of anything better to do than to just track while we do this to give you some energy. I'll give you a blast beat. I can't believe we're on a fourth hype train in 48 hours. That's fucking insane. You guys are incredible. Alright, chorus time. Section 6, take I don't give a fuck. Let's go.
that was not a waste of hard drive space at all. <laughs> Incredible. Pizza time. It's uh, section six, take three, two, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Okay, let me guess why that keeps happening. You guys are incredible, man. If you do level five, then it's an hour and it's all yours. Anyone who contributes in the hype train gets to say, I want you to do this. And we get a bunch of suggestions and we vote on it like we did yesterday. Talk to the Pope, he knows everything. <laughs> yeah, you know. But I'm just blown away. Holy crap, the bias is going with it again, Zaz throwing it in again we nearly hit the head of level two that's just incredible you're all you're all mad you're all absolutely incredible i have no words i have no i have no words my god <laughs> Car carver holy crap okay that's level two done let's you only have pick I mean, what would you do with the stream if you took over it? That's another 200 in the pot. Oh my good lord. Oh my good lord, people. You're incredible. You're fucking incredible. I'm gonna get a track while I still can because you're about to take this shit over. Holy crap. I ain't got a chance. Uh, section six, take uh, four. I'm Oh my god, you've gifted 40 subs in here, Tobias, over the, over the year, and you've just gifted it to the Pope. <laughs> to the Pope. I was going to try to say, Pete. Um, it's not a limiter, it's a, it's a noise gate triggered by that overhead. So if I were to do this... So the idea is that I can compress it, but it doesn't sound like absolute shit, and I've just got it kind of tweaked so I can kind of go... And then it just kind of fades back in naturally. But I do get up close to it if I like, if it's in a loud section or whatever. Um, wow, you're incredible. Zaz, Carver, Tobias, you're amazing. We're like 34% in to it. Are we gonna get another takeover? Is it happening? Also, I need to write a better fill for this bit. I need to get closer to it. Is this section seven? Who fucking knows? <laughs> section section seven take one yeah it's 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 good it's just you need to be able to side chain uh to do it but that's all <laughs> what's up shout out but Let's fucking go, dude. Holy shit, he's there. Yo, I'm about to get taken over. I'm about to get level fived again and then I can't record anymore because you guys will tell me whatever the hell you want me to do. <laughs> Louis, if you beat me on the leaderboard and you aren't K-Mac, uh, no money? What's up, buddy? <laughs> How's it going? Thank you so much for the follow. I thought that was Kani for a second there. I thought that was Akul. 
All right, what are we doing now? Section, uh, section seven, take two. Let's go. I'm just dialing in that fill. I'm just still working that out right now. Um, did the recording stop? I have no way of knowing. Yes, it did. The thing says it's still going, but it's a lie. Yo, we are so close to that fucking light train. All right, I got it. I got it. It's cool. We got it. <laughs> Section seven, take three. Yes. Section seven, take three. Section, uh, section seven, take four. <laughs> it <laughs> choo choo ladies and gentlemen choo choo check check oh boy you did it i still i'm still amazed you guys uh, your generosity is just like blowing me away <laughs> but uh, for those who don't know bart guitar is bart hennepoff of textures glory and he is the guitarist on this track and he's a fucking monster he's amazing are you cool with that metric modulation at the end then? Because I'm not. I, I like it, I just don't want to push it too far away from what you want it to be. But I kind of feel like it's a cool, a cool turnaround. My problem is the metronome. It doesn't reflect it at all. If I'm going to do it, I need to switch it. Okay, so keep the, keep the, um, keep the snare where it was, like. Rather than like Oh like Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. I'm into that. Thank you so much, Steve, for the gift sub, you absolute legend. Yes, but then half time. Um, I mean, like, I, I, I'm, are you talking about after the vocal? Because um, I'm into that. I don't want to go faster for the vocal. I feel like the half time over the vocal is great. And then as soon as the vocal's done and we're into the second half of it, that's where we start messing around. I'm so glad you jumped in. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so we go full time.
without that snare fuck up, right? Can I can do that to that, and you'll you'll be alright with that. Oh, this is hard. I have to turn it into a twenty-four click section. Keep all halftime. Keep all halftime. What? I can't quite read it. Keep all halftime. Uh, you mean on the snare? Because we just talked about double timing the, full timing the crash. Or you mean keep all the snares halftime? Okay, so don't do the crash. I'm so confused. Because that was that was full time on the crash. The thing, the Lamb of God thing. Oh, okay. So the crash is full time, keep the snares half time. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, cool. Right, gotcha. Full time right hand, half time left hand. So yeah, that that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Romali? Romali. Just when I gave up for today, learning denial. Hello, sir. Cool. All right. Cool. I'm happy with the the fill I got. So, am I? What take did I just do with that? Was that take four? Section seven, take five. We're on now then. No, we don't need that. We can we can go for a section eight. All right, there we go. <laughs> we got there. We'll get this. We'll get this. Section eight, take one. Take one. How was that? How was that? But are you okay with that little that little ending change? Me just giving it like a quarter of it? <laughs> I'm really, really eager to do that. <laughs> it's tickling you the right way. That's good. I wouldn't want to tickle you the wrong way, sir. That would be that would be the worst. <laughs> uh. Right. Section eight, take two. <laughs> Fucking metronomes going like <laughs> afterwards. I need to. Uh... <laughs> Who was that with the fucking cricket noise? <laughs> oh, I love that. Tahatha, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Let's do section eight, take three. I think we got this. I think we're we're done with it. We're like as long as I got the sick ending fill, we're good. And actually, that last fill was kind of what I needed. It was what I needed. So 
Oh my God, I got sweat in my eyeballs and it stings. Uh, all right. Section eight, take three. <laughs> I fucking threw the stick, hit me in the head, caught it before it hit the drums. <laughs> oh, one more for luck. Section eight, take four. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna stop fucking about. I think I got it. I think I already got it and I'm just overdoing it now. <sighs> Not only hitting 3,000 followers, but we beat the 154 subscriber goal. We beat the 150 goal. Yeah, take three was fast. Oh, yo, that is... We got it, we got it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, yeah, we're really, we're really getting close to 3,000 followers. And I feel like doing something to celebrate 150 subs for the first time. Oh, play this song terribly for 16 bars, okay. Zaz, thank you so much, what's up? I can jazz, man, that's cool. And now I'm just having fun. Cause we tracked the song. We fucking did it! We fucking did it! We fucking did it! We fucking did it! Fucking did it. <sighs> I can't believe we did it! We tracked the whole fucking song. Now we just have to comp the thing. And it's not as complex a comp as the last one was because at least like these were parts that I'd written before. Thank you! Thank you, Carolina. <laughs> I did like two takes and you were just laughing. Thank you, Tyson. Oh my goodness gracious me, I am putting the fucking aircon on. Thank you so much, bud. Just have to comp it now and we're good. Right. I'm putting this on and I'm putting it on high. Oh God, we did it. Yeah, no, I'm really great, thanks, man. I'm gonna migrate straight over to the desk. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and comp this fucker like right now while it's all fresh in my head. So I'm gonna do the thing again. Take you over.
Let's have a listen to these fucking takes, huh? Huh? Take care, Zaz. Yo, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so, so, so much. You're awesome, I love you. Take care of yourself. All right, see you soon, Bart. All the best, man. Take care of yourself. Let's fucking get some focus up in here. How we, how's the man supposed to focus? How's the man supposed to focus, huh? Like that. <laughs> oh, it's bright. It's very bright in here. Take care of yourself, dude. Go go give Bart a follow. Go give him a sub. Go give him some love. He's a fucking hero. I need a hero. There we go. All right. We're back. What else do I need? Stream deck. Drinks. Can't think straight. My adrenaline's so high. <sighs> Yo, I will hydrate. I will hydrate, my friend. I will do that. Yeah, I love the spirit, man. It sounds great. I've got two stealths, and I've honestly fallen completely out of love with them. I don't know what it is about it. It's just papery, thin, uh, doesn't EQ well. Um, haven't liked it on anything. Got it because I was like, amazing rejection. And I, I do use it on the kit, um, but the, the rejection thing is now, it's kind of pointless. It's not really, because I do compress the crap out of it, but it, it, it is pretty good at not picking up much around me, but I don't have it in my face anymore. I've just got the fucking, um, I've just got like everything else kind of going on. I could use anything, any dynamic really, to be honest at this point. Like it's not terrible, don't get me wrong, but I have a horrible feeling I could pick up a, a 60 pound mic and, and prefer it for some of the things I want to do and I, I hate saying that because I do really like the spirit I do really like it um, and I love the halo so much um, but I, I'm just not digging the stealth sue me yo thank you for the follow Carillo yeah, unfortunately. Oh, you're, you're not liking the, uh, are you talking about this one? Because I'm really liking this, but your voice is your voice, you know, like every mic's going to be a bit different for it. Um, this is the Aston Spirit. I used the stealth on the drum kit. Um, the one on the left you see there, just by the keyboard. You can't really see it very well there. Um, maybe you'll see it better on this camera. Yeah, there you go. You can see that there. Um, it works, you know, but it's just compressed and buggery just to make it work. Okay. I've been holding in a piss for way too long. Um, it's good. It's really good. Honestly, this, this EQ is great. This, this takes EQ really well. It's rich. It's, it's powerful. You might be surprised to know that if you're having problems with the mic, it could be your room, in which case I really recommend, I recommend trying a Halo, the Aston Halo. It's a really good reflection filter, like insanely good. So I really recommend giving that a try before you make, before you, before you rinse it, because like it may well be your environment. Um, better mics, especially good condensers, they pick up a room great. They're very sensitive. So if you've got nasty reflections and weird room modes, like honky mids and stuff, you're going to hear that more on a better mic. So it's, it's counterproductive, but that's why you get the halo. I've heard good things about the Chaotica eyeball, but I've got first-hand experience with, with, the, uh, with the halo. Um, it's really, really, really good. Um, I, I highly recommend it. Yeah, like you're probably having room problems. 
I'm almost certain. But I haven't heard it. So if you want, join um, join my Discord. Uh, throw it in music production discussion. We've got quite a few people in there who are quite clued up. Um, and w- and if no one else has gotten back to you, post a clip of it, um, like just raw, dry vocal, if you're okay with it. It can just be talking. You don't have to put on a, a show. But post it in the music production channel and we'll um, we'll have a listen. We'll see what we can do. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm really loving like switching over like this as well. It's really nice. It's really nice to just chill out. This is exactly what I do when I'm in session. I just talk through all my adrenaline, you know. Just and people who are working with me are just like, cool, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do you wanna um I'm gonna go uh wash my uh my fish. I really committed to that one, didn't I? All right. Let's check this out. Mm. It got very hot in here. Holy crap. Sweating like a motherfucker. Mm. How are you all doing? Shut up, Wesley. Okay, bye. Dude, holy fuck, that's so, what well, it sounds so much better when you're not hearing the drums around you. The snare's sounding way better. I did a gain staging thing where it was going too hot out of uh, one plugin into another, and I like dropped the output of one and, and up the input of the other, and it sounds so much cleaner now. I know the first take had some magic to it, so I'm gonna check that out. That snare wasn't as powerful as that one. Nah, this sounded better. Got some variations here, you can see them. That's a mistake. I just like this for the ghost notes. Nah, I like the ghost notes, but I don't like the. Is that snare less powerful? No, they're all good. Sort of why? What is it about the other snares that sound better? I think it's a tuning thing, but this, that take take one snare has no bite to it. Let's compare these movements. Yeah. 
Except for that snare was kind of weak. Dude, this is so heavy. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy with this. <laughs> Two is winning. The beginning of one is winning. Do you recognize the cry? If you don't recognize the cry... I'll give you a clue, the, the lyric is while it all ejaculates. Romali's got it. <laughs> if you know, you know. It can't be the China that. <coughs> yeah, do not search for that. Awesome. Yeah, no, Romali, you'll, you'll, you can't get a better reflection filter than that, in my opinion, genuinely. Oops. So stanky. Take care, Taha. Lovely to have you here as always.
was a bit on the quiet side. Damn it, what single foot kicks are always so weak at this speed. Oh, that was not a nice hi-hat catch. Ooh, ganda de ganda de ganda. That's kind of sick. That's also kind of sick, but I'm feeling like this is the winner. It's just got good movement. Then again, so does that. That works really well with, for my devotion. That's the best for devotion. Yeah, right? I wasn't even expecting it to, to sound better. I was expecting it to be like, all right, cool, now it's got real drums on it. And the moment I started playing, I was like, huh? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that, that shouldn't happen. This is really, really cool. I'm really happy. I really didn't expect my playing to add anything other than just stop it from being not me, being a drummer who doesn't play on a, on a track that he wrote. It doesn't make sense. By the way, it might. I hope it doesn't come across as arrogance at all. It, I, I really, I, when I'm when I'm happy with listening back, it's because I was assuming it was fucking awful while I was doing it. I mean, but you guys tracking to you in Twitch makes me feel like someone's enjoying it, so I'm just not not overthinking it. Um, I think I'll keep it natural. I think I'm gonna try and mix this one as well because I actually mixed that Andy Sizzik track and I, and I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed doing it and I got better results I'd ever gotten before since just mixing on cans. Um, this room is just not an ideal mix environment and moving the desk to a better mix environment, apparently it's not good enough to understand low end. I love these HD 600s so much that I just don't, I don't think I'm gonna go. Yeah, it's it's so, his, his singing voice is incredible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so glad I got all these takes on video as well. That's too much for um, first chorus. I don't know how he's underrated. He's in. He was in fucking textures. Like how? How is that? Like how do people not know how good that is? Like. I'm good with that. I hope you enjoy watching this process, by the way. Sometimes I feel like this might not be the most engaging or interesting thing for you to watch, but I, I hope you do enjoy seeing some of the process of it. That was the first take, and it has some magic to it. I want to see what happened when I'd done it a few times. I feel like there's that space is helping it a lot. First take wins. Man. Yeah, no, cascading takes and uh, and then uh, comping afterwards is like the only way I can work. Oh yeah, I need to switch to... That last take I think I nailed. Did I, did I nail those accents on another take? Why isn't it flipping? There we go. I die. I'm 
I kind of got one of them. Whoops, change the tempo. That's a mistake. Move the global tracks out of the way. This was a really hard bit. Did I nail the accents on this one once? Just once. That's a cool movement, but I feel like maybe it started earlier. Let's have a listen. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, yeah, I think a big part of it is that this is just an incredible uh, kick drum. The Tama 24 inch. I mean, Nolly is amazing at picking out great kits and knowing what makes what makes something great. And he uh, he knew that a Japanese built Tama Star Classic is going to be better than another company's build. So he and this is his kit. Like he lent this to me um, because he genuinely said he just run out of room for drum kits. I mean, it's bloody gorgeous. I mean, oh wait, hang on. None of the, none of these angles at the moment are really set up well to like show off how tasty the that little gold sparkle finish is, but it's so fucking gorgeous, man. There you go. You can just look at that for a minute. Just just appreciate that. Yeah, no, I've uh, I've been um, I've been learning how to make a natural kick sound like a sample kick. Um, obviously, a lot's in the playing, but not all of it. I mean, like. All I have to do is turn off all my inserts and you'll hear what it actually sounds like. Um, using a limiter or a leveler, big, big bonus for the kicks. <laughs> Honestly, just makes such a difference. Right. Right, we're looking for the strongest, best spaced kicks in the latest takes. I love the sound of a kick drum that's like someone kissing their teeth. Like that that's my that's my jam, man. Because you can still hear my inconsistencies in it, you know. I will once I edit it, not so much. This was such a fucking hard riff. I know I did a, a fill that I, I did some cymbal accents on those. On the oh, fuck off with your fucking flam. 
Seriously? And I hit a fucking China there. Where else am I gonna have hit a fucking China there? Nowhere, so I have to I have to fix that flam there. Damn, that sucks. Only flames. <laughs> I'm sorry, Romali. Fuck. That was all right, actually. I wish the I wish the kicks were a bit more powerful, though. Uh, more flammy. That wasn't so bad. That was good. Well, that's a big snare there. No, it's not. It's just lots of en low end energy, but. Oh, okay. That looks good. That one it wasn't though. The first one wasn't so good. I th yeah, I need a more spaced out one for that. I can edit that well. Those kicks are really nice and separated. <laughs> One of these, I got really excited. Oh yeah, this who who redeemed the fucking uh, play this song terribly for sixteen bars while I was re while I was recording. Um, it was you, Tobias, if you're still there. James Nunn's had a strong call, The Bondulance. So hey. Where's your separation? So oh, good, 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 good. So oh, yo, the fill for the shit takes the best one? So Fucking hell. No, the first take's good. I don't like that the crash sounds quieter. I need to check something.
Yeah, we're good. We're good. Maybe it's just an energy thing. I don't know. That I was noticing while I was recording that the uh, that the crash sounded weak, and I was like, I really hope it's not broken. There's nothing I can do about it if it is. But no, it looks fine. I just don't, I don't get why it sounds. I think I think my ears are just gone. playing for the song there at all. That could be good when, uh, when edited. I had my headphones up too loud, so I can't really hear what's going on. Um, yeah, I, I trust them enough. Like, uh, I know how the overheads are being processed. Um, I know when I solo it, I, I'm listening out for things being broken. And if something is a bit fucked up, if it's sounding okay after, after the uh, production, you know, after all the inserts and everything, then I'm not too worried. Uh, I know what I'm listening out for, so I, I, I trust my ears. Um, my my in ears are pretty well controlled. I get a lot of my volume for my kick through my um, through the stool through the uh, it's a it's a stool that called a a BC two or a, a gigster by Porter and Davis. If I'm tired, well, I know when to stop. I'm getting there. Like, I'm gonna comp this, and, and then tonight's gonna be the gaming stream, and uh, and that's the beginning of my weekend. Um, I take Sundays and Mondays off every week to to recharge, so that what I do Tuesday to Saturday is spot on. You know. Yeah, I'm knackered. <laughs> I've only had this for breakfast. Six. I, I'm starting to have three scoops of heel now, six hundred calories, and that's that's better. When I was just doing four hundred, I would be too hungry midstream, and I, and it wouldn't work. And I don't want to eat solid food on stream, partly because I'm gonna get some fatigue from it. Also, I just don't like eating messily. I've got kind of fucked up teeth, so I bite shit and it's messy and it's it's, it's nasty. I want to get my teeth sorted really bad, but. That is thousands of pounds that I have been spending on equipment instead <laughs> to get to this point. So we'll, we'll see how we go. But I'd have to have some teeth removed and I'm really icky about it. I have officially finished my breakfast. Getting ready for lunch now. Huel is such a good start to the day. If you like Huel, if you like to try Huel, let me know. I'll pass you a fucking affiliate code that will get you a discount. Um, it's really, I find it really good. I have so many um, stomach issues. I have so many intolerances that like, and sometimes I just can't face food in the morning. Five minutes food. The, the hot, hot, the hot heel food is sick. Some people hate the korma. I love the korma. It's like all the, um, all the benefit of super noodles or pot noodles in terms of time, but it's actually nutritionally like solid. And it's all gluten-free and yeast-free, and I, I can eat it, and it's good. It's going to be a tour lifesaver. I've done it quite a lot. I'll have a Huel powder milkshake for breakfast, the Huel hot for lunch or dinner. And then all I need to do is source one meal that I can have. And that means I can kind of, you know, I only have to stop and prepare a meal really once. Because it's two instant meals per day, and I, and I don't feel like shit from it. Like, I genuinely don't feel bad. It's so good. Right. <laughs> Oh, you want that code, Steam? Dude, I'll hook you up, man. Let's go. Let's fucking do it. Uh, I don't know how I'll get it. Maybe I'll do it later. Maybe I'll do it now. Maybe I'll give it to you in the chat. Who fucking knows? Might as well, right? Rain. Where's my code? Give me my code. I must have, like, a. it must be easy to find that. I mean, it's... Referrals, there we go. Here we go. You ready for this? Check it out. Pew. 
There's my code. Get a discount. Have some fun with that. It also gives me a bit of money off. I think you get £10 off your first order when you spend 40 quid or more. You do have to spend 40 quid really to get anything from them. So like, but you'll get the shaker and a nice shirt. And it's actually a sick shirt. Like it feels really good to wear. So, um, yeah. No, you're welcome, man. Uh, I'm an advocate for it. Like, and I'm really, this isn't about affiliate marketing. This is genuinely about do you have trouble getting food in you? This isn't sponsored. I don't care about getting a tenner off. Like, I really don't care if that works. I don't care if, I mean, if you use that code, you'll get the 10 pounds off. That's cool for you. Like, I, I got that from someone. I don't care about making money off my food. Like, I just, it's worth it. It is, more, it is like, expensive. Like, it as a as a lump but uh the, the hot food especially is a bit more pricey but i think it, it works out to about a pound or two every meal um which is more than cereal you know that's a pound or two for a lot of meals but it's the, the nutrition in it is great don't go for the fucking black edition unless you're working out and you need extra protein just get the normal one it's, it's trust me i have i need a high protein diet for my reflux not a problem not a problem at all like and I, I rely on good protein and it's one of the few things that doesn't fuck me up um really recommend it are you seeing red on this oh no it's just because of the light and the light i thought that was my focus assist i thought i had it on on my hdmi for a second there fucking song I'll do what I want damn <laughs> thought it would if I would try to do that. Shit. Uh, not too close. That'll do it. Yeah, it's a, it's an Indian curry, uh, but uh, Huel Hot has loads of flavors. Um, uh, you can get like a Thai green curry, you can get like a tomato and herb, Mexican chili I didn't like so much. Um, I wouldn't try a madras, too spicy for me. I'll, I'll only go for a spicy curry when it's like an actual curry that's like super balanced with real spices and shit and it's like, yeah, that's working. I don't like heat for the sake of heat. Yeah, it's very mild Indian curry. It's got like um, sultanas in it. Very sweet, uh, coconutty. It's really nice. Really, really, really nice. Um, but Izzy, our friend, hated it. I just need a Carolina Reaper. That's what I need. Um, yeah. Um, but the green curry is great. That's got... That's nice. Uh, Thai green curry is gorgeous. Lemongrass flavors. You know, that fragrant 
citrusy fragrance, but like spicy and coconutty as well. But green curry is pretty spicy. Um, you're gonna eat one this summer, Boogers. Good luck to you, sir. Watch the Gordon Ramsay Hot Ones for all the tricks on how to deal with it. Um, also watch the Hot Ones, um, the first we feast, where him and uh, where Sean Evans and Chili Klaus they smash the Carolina Reaper twice. Um, you you need to be careful with that. Um, I probably I want to do like a hot sauce thing really bad. I want to do a Hot Ones so badly. Um, obviously I'll never get on the actual show because I'm just a fucking small time gen drummer but like I wouldn't mind getting all the sources with a bunch of mates and then just smashing it um, but uh, yeah no uh, yeah Huel's great for losing weight because you can control the calories really easily the scoop you fill a scoop you've got your 200 calories or whatever it is like it says it on the bag um, with the hot and savory, it's it's actually really good. Like, I make it with like a little bit less water, so it's a bit more like um, like a risotto than or a risotto than a soupy thing. But you could do it whichever way you want. Like, if you prefer soupier consistency, you go for that. If you prefer it thicker, less water, cover it five minutes, job done. Just it's just heating it up and rehydrating it. But it, it's it's nutritionally sound. Like for real, I, I rely on it. Um, I'm probably gonna have a fucking heel lunch because it's half five. I want to start another stream at eight. That gives me two hours, and I don't want to eat. Well, actually, I could spend an hour cooking because I'm not drumming this evening. I'm playing games tonight, so that's fine. Yeah, sorry, that's my wife there being wonderful, but <laughs> I don't know if you recognize that. Yeah, good luck with the Carolina Reaper, man. Uh, let me know how that goes or when you're doing it. I, I, but watch the watch the Gordon Ramsay thing, because he does all sorts of shit. Apparently, it works. Um, in that last one. I had a feeling. Oh, why am I still listening to the fucking lo-fi underneath? Oh, that one actually worked. Okay, 23 is my favorite. Oh, or we could roll that one in. Um, 23. Just, just stick with 23. Sick. Okay. Cool. We're into the ending. Lamb sauce, mint tarts. Have you picked up on the fucking lyrics of this, by the way? Um, apart from the, the chorus is actually sick because Joe from Textures jumped into the chat at the time and he wrote the wrote the lyrics. But um, the whole intro is like. Where's the lamb sauce? It's still fucking raw. Uh, this lamb is so undercooked, it runs back home. Um, it runs back home. Dun, dun. Oh, fuck, I can't remember the rest of it. We'll, we'll go over the lyrics again in a bit. It's fucking funny. That's lamb sauce. Lamb sauce, mint tarts. Weeks now. Tip hit on the crash. <laughs> You're welcome, Romali. You're very, very welcome. Let me know if you want that code again. I'll happily post it. I just love to share the knowledge and help everyone out. Like, um, morning, gentlemen. All right, have a great evening, man. Take care, boogers. Or oh, evening, day, whatever. Have a great time. Thanks for hanging out with us.
hope you do well and uh yeah i got a, i got a heal code yeah here you go um I, I can't remember where i put the heal code in the discord i, I don't know if i actually did but yeah th there you go um hook yourself up uh as i say the the milkshakes um i use a neutral bullet um i my favorite combo is banana with an actual banana uh in a neutral bullet blend it together job done um it's very, very, very good. But um, I ran out of banana, and then we had fucking shitloads of berry left over. Um, and so I'm just getting through the berry. I hated it at first. I've actually gotten into it, but I, I do miss my banana. Because I like banana huel plus blender banana into it, plus iced coffee. Like, take a shot of espresso in there, and then the caffeine is, like, mixed with it. But lately, I'm getting better at pacing myself with the coffee and making sure, like, I'm getting that much food in me before I get that much coffee in until I finish the meal and then I'll finish the coffee uh, so that I don't get too anxious. Um, it helps a lot. It's like the perfect energy release. I can just kind of adjust it depending on what my day needs, you know. <laughs> Nephim, welcome back, dude. Tatha, no worries, man. You have a good dinner. Thanks for hanging out as long as you have. And thanks again for all the support. Again, I've, I can't believe we got a fourth fucking hype train. Uh, I just, I'm just so grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Had to do a bit of maths there. Oh yeah, my bad. No, we we got like level two, level three, I think. Um, we com we completed level level two, but it was still incredible. And we've beaten the subscriber goal of one fifty for the first time ever. I've never had. 150 in a month. I'm so fucking grateful. It, it really means that I can devote time and and resource and energy. Although, like, I've already committed all the resource I can to this. I've been really going for it. But I intend to be the streaming guy. Um, like, the drummer always has the fucking PA system, you know? Like, if the drummer's got the streaming rig, the drummer's gonna get more, gonna do more, you know? And I'm gonna get to share being with my friends on stream. And I'm going to be able to do that remotely without... I need to... I'll, what I will need to get is a sick laptop. Um, and then make my rig portable. I'm probably about three grand down in my head just to pull that off. Then again, it depends if I get a laptop with an eGPU. Like, I haven't really looked into it. That's like next year. That's like getting out there and turning my travels into a streaming show. It's scary, but I've already I'm I'm on the path to committing to it. And even if I don't manage it, at least I've got the gear and I can do great things with it on stream with your support. Uh, it's totally doable. So all of you who've been supporting me, thank you so so much. All of you who are just watching, just thanks for being involved in this. I fucking love being able to do these processes to an audience. It makes it so so m much more tolerable to be in this environment without being able to go to a studio and be with my mates. I don't know how I got used to being unable to do any of this. It's only thanks to you, really. Um, yeah, Matt, uh, I haven't chatted to him, but I'm part of a, a project that has him involved in it with Dan Tompkins' solo project. I'm playing drums on that. There's a, there's a, there's a live stream full record playthrough that I did on Twitch a while back. We're still waiting on some footage from a couple of the guys. Um, and I can't really edit together a full video until I get it from them. Uh, I think I remember chatting to Dan at the beginning of the month and we were like, okay, maybe it will happen in May. But it, it's down to Paul and Pete. So, and I think Matt, I, I, don't, I can't remember, I, at this point I've lost track of where all the footage came from, but Dan will help me with all of that. So. <laughs> I remember actually that Bart was like take three was better. So and I, I trust him. I noticed the kicks were out of time with the guitar and I was just trying to make sure that the drums were in time with themselves. 
That was a flam. I hate those. Can't really fix them. Oh, all of them? That one's not so bad. Yeah, him guesting would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? It'd be so cool. I went solid China though on one of them. And I'd like to stick to the China if I could. I just like that. <laughs> I was so pissed off at myself for fucking that up. I just kept kept fucking doing it. It was like yesterday I was playing bass and I was just like, my fucking, fucking, fucking fingers. <laughs> These Gadagaga are cool. And then we can cut back. Yeah, that happened yesterday. I know, literally. <laughs> and, and Drew just laughed his asshole because I was just like, my, I'm trying to do it, but my fucking... Fucking... Fucking fingers. <laughs> he just pissed himself. That's the one! What the fuck was he talking about, Take 3? That's fucking sick. That's the ending. Done. Done. Comped. Two comps in a day. Fucking Malian Drum Services. Have me on your song session. Drums. Available now. If I like your song, I'll do it on stream. <laughs> that was meant to be an ironic sales pitch, and it turned into an actual sales pitch. No, for real. I love doing it. Um, throw me your music. Hit me up. You want me on your track? Let's chat. Let's chat. Hit me up on my socials. Hmm. The worst is not when one one limb doesn't do what it's supposed to. The worst is when you blame your limb for because your your conscious mind is getting in the way of the subconscious, which is the one in charge of the the shit. Um, and if your conscious mind is in the way. It's blaming everything, and you're just like, your, your subconscious doesn't have a voice, so it's just like, can you stop beating on me? I'm trying to do a good job, if you just let me. So, what, if, if you like that idea of mindset, check out The Inner Game of Tennis. I love that book so much. Never finished it, but the first half an hour taught me a lot. <laughs> Let's have a listen together to the song in its whole, and pay attention to the vocals as well, uh, to the lyrics. Uh, I think you'll like it. Where's the lamb sauce? Where's the lamb sauce? We're still fucking wrong. Still fucking wrong. This lamb is so bloody dead. You get it. Yes, Steve. This Thanks, man. This lamb is what you're getting now. Yeah, the smell is pungent and it nauseates even the most heavy of stomachs while it all ejaculates, I remember. <laughs> Screaming orgasm, man. What? He... Aspen! Thanks, man. You're fired from the butchery. And don't come back. Until you can make a proper mint cookie. 
don't come back until you can make a proper mint cookie. So then he goes on a journey to become a baker because he's, he's fired from the butchery for fucking up the lamb sauce. It's a Gordon Ramsay thing. Thanks for the follow, Aspen Studios. I'm going to back up a bit. And then the next section is like Bart's tarts, Bart's, Bart's farts, the tarts, uh, uh, Bart better than better than Bart, but something about uh, Bart's tarts are better than Walmart's tarts. I can't remember. <laughs> crystallizer thank you so much aspen appreciate it and i uh fucking love andy um we have started collaborating together personally a lot more me and him on some things and we're both just like working with each other uh it's so much fun thank you so much steve i really appreciate it what did you get by the way what heel did you get dude um i want to know what you got i don't want to give you buyer's remorse i appreciate you for getting that thank you so much um, yeah, let me know what you got. I'm curious. We're heel buddies now. Yay. <laughs> I love it. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. Like, I don't feel like I'm in too much of a rush to need to go make uh, make something. So, um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Three. Thank you so much, man. So that's ten off for both of us. You fucking legend. Thanks. Yeah, you're going to feel the benefit. Like, for real. This isn't a fad. Like, heel is a fucking real thing. Uh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm okay. I don't have to listen to music anymore all fucking day. Banana and mint chocolate are the version three. Fair enough. Good man. Uh, mint chocolate. I hope it goes well for you. I didn't. I mean, that doesn't sound like a nice thing to me. But if that sounds like a nice thing to you, I bet you're gonna love it. But banana is really good. I like it. 
I kind of got an ender berry now. Um, couple of recommendations. Um, use ice. Uh, make it overnight if you don't have a blender. Um, yeah, chocolate was good. I like making chocolate banana. That was sick. The code didn't work. Aw. Oh, well, no worries. But at least you got it, dude. That's the most important thing. Um, yeah, I like I liked banana chocolate. Oh, maybe it's a country thing. Yeah, fair enough, man. Um, yeah, Mephim, tonight streams gaming and hangs. Um, unless, of course, it's a stream takeover. But if it is, I'm going to plead. I'm going to plead with everyone to be like, hey, can I, um, can I not play drums for an evening? I'm fucking knackered. <laughs> Oh, but I should edit this. I have to. I have to make time to edit this. I have to do Project Lira anyway. So I guess it's gonna happen next week. Um, yeah, no, I'll rest. Don't worry. Gaming, gaming. Well, the plan with the gaming streams was to start incorporating listening um, to songs during it, and that won't work with uh, Team Speak. So I want to play with everyone. But I've been wanting to do the the whole listening thing and just really make it chat centric. It's a it's a big thing. I want it to be kind of like a just chatting stream. Um, but it's there's games and there's music, you know. I, that's the that's the thing I want to get with it. But you know I'm gonna be on and we're gonna be gaming again. Um, hell yeah, Steve. Mint chocolate coffee. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Banana coffee is a fucking sick mix. But yeah, ice helps with the texture can be a bit scratchy at the back of the throat for me, but it's fine. Um, what else? Yeah, Nutribullet or a blender, if you got it. Um, I don't have Valheim, never played it before. I've got quite a few games that I'm quite into that are fun for the stream to watch. Um, we could always bring Goat Simulator back. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We'll chat about it in Discord, I guess, but yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a few uh, Goat Simulator packs I never fucking finished, and like I'd like to complete one of them, like the MMORPG one. Like, but then again, there were some goals in that that were fucking impossible. Nice, nice. Nutribullet looks great, honestly, to be able to make um, to make smoothies on the go, like super smooth smoothies. You can't really make hummus with it; it has to be quite wet for it to work. But if you've got a blender of any kind, um, getting the banana in. I mean, or just, or just making it. It's just the, just getting it, getting it consistent. Shaking it, I find there's always a few lumps. Stirring it helps. Liquid in first. You'll learn. You, if yours, one of those things that you, you, it will become a routine for you, and you'll find, like, the right way for it. Okay, everyone. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go make some lunch at quarter to six p.m. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Fucking. I just seen some messages from um, from Sasha saying he's just so grateful for me and he's so loving the parts. That's amazing. Early happy birthday to you, Steve. Yes, indeed. Sorry, I am broken right now. I'm so tired. I'm looking forward to just gaming and hanging out tonight. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go throw some viewers over to fucking Mr. Sixty Six Samus. He's an incredible fucking drummer. Played on um, on Devin Townsend stuff. Played for pretty much everyone. Uh, fucking chameleon, but an incredible drummer. Please hang out with him. Greetings from Norway to you, St. Nji One Two Three. Um, I'm afraid I'm logging off my now, my friend. But yeah, um, I'll be back at 8 p.m which is in two and a quarter hours. Also, yes, the Mally and Shroy podcast. If you want to see me and my wife chat with Angel Vivaldi live, who's an amazing guitarist, go check out the Mally and Shroy YouTube right now. Um, can you post a link real quick, um, Carolina, in here before we do the raid? We got, we got probably a minute or so. Thank you so much. Please check that out. We're trying to get some traction on those videos. There was, they're really fun. It's a really fun podcast. Angel's wonderful to be around. Um, but yeah, also Samus is hanging out. Drop him a follow, have him one in the background if you want. There's the video. Go check it. Let's uh, let's share that around the place while we eat. And I will see you again soon. Lots of love to you. I'll catch you in the evening for a bit of hangout. Thanks for hanging out with me, doing my thing. Take care of yourselves, everyone.